Borneo pygmy elephants, or Elephas maximus borneensis, is the world's smallest known subspecies of elephants. Concentrated in Sabah, particularly floodplains, tributaries, and the upper catchment of the Kinabatangan and Sigama River. A few individuals reign into East Kalimantan, Indonesia. The elephants usually travel in small, female-led groups of around eight individuals, which periodically merge with larger groups in the more open feeding grounds, particularly on riverbanks. Males become solitary for much of the time after sexual maturity, but they may travel in groups of two or three and follow the female-led herds from time to time for mating. WWF Borneo Species Program works on saving the Bornean pygmy elephant by teaming up with the Sabah Wildlife Department to identify and secure ecological corridors for the annual movements of elephants. In 2005, the Elephant Satellite Tracking Program in Sabah began to study this movement in Sabah's heart of Borneo forest and lower Kinabatangan River region. It was soon discovered that the elephants preferred lowland forest as their main habitat and moved only along areas with water sources. The Asian elephant is the largest forest herbivore in Asia. One adult can eat up to 150 kilograms of vegetation per day, feeding mostly on species of palms, grasses and wild bananas. They also require supplementary minerals which they receive from salt licks or clay-rich soils. So far, based on WWF's research in the field, more than 160 species of plants are consumed by the elephants in Borneo. The primary threat to these elephants is the loss of continuous lowland and valley forests. Mammals of their size require large feeding grounds and viable breeding populations with suitable male-to-female ratios. Shrinking forests have also brought the elephants into more frequent contact with people, increasing human-elephant conflict in this region. The large blocks of forest they require are being fragmented by development of forest areas and conversion of natural forests to commercial plantations. Human disturbances within forests such as logging, Increased agriculture, building of palm oil mills with associated settlements, and hunting are rapidly breaking up contact between subpopulations, as well as minimizing the areas of forest available for each small group to live and feed on. In order to save the Borneo pygmy elephant, it is important to ensure that the human elephant conflict incident could be minimized. The key to reduce the human-elephant conflict in Borneo is, first and foremost, to encourage the adoption of sound land-use strategies and proper land-use planning by the government, land developers, and local communities. This means that the forest habitat connectivity is very important to ensure the survival of this species.